Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. I am your host, Eric Lima, and the perpetrator of these crazy shenanigans. That's what, as you can see here right now, as you know, a couple episodes ago, got this, and one episode ago, I had the worst record in the bullseye bonus island ever so far. Ugh. Sometimes things would never change, huh? Lots of bad luck here. 2020, 2022 was that? Ooh. Ooh. I feel like Jack K. Harry then. Ooh. Remember Jack K? Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, well, it's to, it, it's Impact Wrestling uh, Event Center. As you know, I watched it uh, from last night. And uh, thank goodness because starting off, Say his name, and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Da, 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 da. Oh, what, a, what an entertaining guy. He addresses Brian Myers before the, the matchup. Uh, as the digital media title was on the line, is Brian Myers to defend the gold against Mr. Joe Hendry. And during the matchup, Mike Cardona tried to get involved, but then Heath and Rhino... Who are slated to defend the tag team titles at um, at Overdrive against the major players? Got involved. They beat up on Matt Cardona, sending him to the back. Joe Hendry took advantage of the situation, and after the standing ovation finishing maneuver hit by Joe Hendry, we have a brand new and new digital media champion. And I'm going to do it once and more time. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout and new Impact Digital Media Champion. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Da 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 Tokyo. Anyways. Anyway, so. And Jay Vidal was talking to Giselle Jean about a video package he made for her. In case she ends up winning the Knockouts Championship from Jordan Grace later that night, and V'd be bound by design promos by uh, promos with Angels and Con, while um, <clears throat> Alan Angels and Big Con and they, um, Eric Young address Sammy Callahan. <clears throat> X Division Semifinals: Trey Miguel going one on one with Mike Bailey, and I forgot to write down. I won that match. Excuse me just a second, kids. All right. Now, here's what happens. Kenny King decided to come down and eat popcorn during the matchup at ringside. And then <clears throat> he blatantly attacked Trey Miguel right in front of the referee, disqualifying Mike Bailey, eliminating him from the tournament <clears throat> as as Trey Miguel advances to the, to, to, to the finals in the X Division title tournament. He, he, basically, Kenny King's a jerk. He screwed Mike Bailey out of the tournament. And believe me, Mike Bailey uh, is going to try to give uh, Kenny King that crybaby. Crybaby King. Crybaby Kenny King. You know what? Here's the deal. You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? Mike Bailey is going to make a South Park episode out of you. You know? Oh my God, he killed Kenny. Anyways, that's what's going to happen. When Mike Bailey gets his hands on Kenny King. Meanwhile, um, <clears throat> Death Dolls was talking about Jessica's first loss. She was a little upset. And she goes, no, nah, I'm going to need a drink. And kind of like Rosemary was not very happy about it. Glaring at Ty. Ty is like, oh. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> and then Deanna Perazzo was getting Chelsea Green to raid for her match against Mickey James. Meanwhile, Kitty King was addressing Mike Bailey, and Kenny King, you have no room to talk, boy, after what you did to Mike Bailey. And believe me, the receipt's coming your way, son. You know what I mean? And one-on-one -on -one action, uh, Boo Pinter Gujar went one-on-one -on -one with uh, G Sharp, um, a guy who was trying to uh, 
trying to make a name for himself, but Gujar did win the matchup. Heath and Rhino <coughs> addresses the major players as they defend the tag team titles against them at Overdrive. Meanwhile, Rhino just noticed um, Josh Alexander, and Josh Alexander talks about, well, uh, Rhino talked about Josh Alexander. I know Bully Ray for one time. He is a POS, and he says he's not lying. Mickey James uh, was get, uh, was getting ready for her match against against Chelsea Green, and Alicia was talking to Jessica, who was reading a book written by ODB. He said, "What's the book say?" Just keep drinking. You want some? Nah, that's okay. I, it's empty anyways. And then Eddie Edwards um, comes walking by. Hey, um, Alicia goes, "I've been thinking about the sit down interview. I'm kind of concerned about you. I, you said you said it, and then." Eddie Edwards goes, you said it. Either this ends or on or honor no more ends. I and then honor no more. He so he took out PCO and buried him. Well, let's just say that let's just let's just leave it at that. And uh, so and then and then I he uh, I think Alicia has a feeling that it's not ended yet. Meanwhile, Mickey James went one on one with Chelsea Green, and uh, during the match, Deanna Perrazzo, her Vex partner. Try to get involved. Referee ejects her from ringside. Match continues. Referee accidentally gets knocked out. Here comes Deanna Perazzo trying to interfere. Taylor Wilde made sure that Deanna Perazzo did not get involved. So, so there's that. And, uh, and but Mickey James took advantage. Ends up picking up the victory over Chelsea Green. So the Ross Rodeo does continue on. Steve Macklin was trying to knock on Sean, uh, Sean uh, Scott D'Amour's. Uh, um, Steve Macklin was trying to knock on Scott D'Amour's door to see if he can get a title shot against Giles Alexander. He starts throwing some stuff. Tommy Dreamer was talking to Alicia, and Tommy Dreamer confronts him. Say, "Hey, what are you doing? Stop it! Stop being uh, be a locker room leader for once and stop throwing your temper tantrums." <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, so. And she goes, I want a shot. He goes, what about the oil? You want a match? Yeah. I'll talk to Scott DeMore. You can have a match against me. And Steve Macklin goes, fine. I'll end you, he says. So anyways, uh, Bully Ray went one-on-one -on -one with Zicky Dice. Zicky Dice and Johnny Swigger are a couple of stooges. And then the match is about to begin, right? So Zicky Dice and Johnny Swigger decided to recreate Team 3D's thing. See, uh, Johnny Swigger pushes Zicky Dice. Zicky! Get the tables! And you see Bully Ray going, what the bleep are they doing? <laughs> and he decided to pull out a table and set it up in the middle of the ring as a dude, it's not a tables match. What is going on? But Bully Ray decided to hit hit Zicky Dice with the, uh, with the bully bomb. One, two, three. It was over. Lickety split. Then Moose <clears throat> came out, low blows Bully Ray from behind and spears him through a table. More on that story. Sammy Callahan addresses Eric Eric Young and VBD. He says he likes what they're doing, but here's the thing: he kidnaps one of the violence, uh, of, of the violent, of, of the violence. You know when they do a little, uh, I don't know how they the heck they do it. You know it's like you know they, they do they do something like this. One one of uh, the designed, and he says, you know what? I'm going to challenge you to a death machine double jeopardy match. Then you should make your opponent bleed first, and if your opponent bleeds, he's eligible to be pinned in the matchup. So that's going to be no disqualifications, no countouts, anything goes. Here's the thing: everybody's banned from ringside. Then Jordan Grace addresses Giselle Shaw, saying that how Jordan Grace is going to beat Giselle Shaw to be uh, to remain the knockout a world champion. Chelsea Green was seen uh, walking away uh, with her pack and her bag. She said, "Listen, I'm I didn't do it. I failed." Deanna Pryor was trying to calm her down. Says, "It's okay, you know. What, what are you going? I'm going home." Now, rumor has it she may be going back to the WWE to get a second shot. Well, we don't know for sure if that's the case. Take it with a grain of salt. That's the way, that's what I've been hearing. So, we'll see what happens exactly during that time. And uh, then during the commercial break, now when all this is going on, Bully Ray addresses Moose and said, Hey, you and me in overdrive, tables match, that match will be set. And they have an in depth look at Frankie Kazarian about. How hard Frankie Kazarian's work uh, works. Got the Moore, Tracy Brooks, who is who's Kazarian's real life wife, and, and Gail Kim was talking about him and uh, talking about 
talking about him. So it's it's some and those three probably know him a lot of passions, a lot of respect. And the freaking Kazarian says, if I don't win the match, he looks at him because I have to win. So the main event, the Knockouts World Title on the line, Jordan Grace. And Giselle Shaw, these guys, um, these two ladies went at it. And uh, Jay Vidal, I'm sure he tried to get involved, but it didn't work. So Jordan Grace did retain the title. Meanwhile, Masa, Masa Slamovich attacked Jordan Grace from behind, hits her with a snowplow for the chair. It seems like she has not forgotten how Jordan Grace beat her one-on-one. -on -one. So, <clears throat> be on the lookout. That rematch will be coming. Meanwhile, they're at the uh, the ditch where Eddie Edwards buried PCO. Lightning bolt strikes the dirt. PCO's hand is out. So Eddie Edwards, I hate to say this, but PCO is not done with ya. And it's gonna be a scary, scary thought. So, <clears throat> and as you know, um, and I know Brandon Martin talked a little about this on Rant and Rave last night. Nick Aldis has been suspended by. Um, NWA about Billy Corgan because he said that his con because uh, Nick Aldis says his contract with NWA is coming up, so this is going to be a very interesting situation to say the least. Where is he going to go? Is he going to go back to Impact Wrestling? Is he going to go to AEW or the WWE? I guess um, we'll find out after talking with his wife and see what his wife's going to do if she loses her next matchup. Is, is um, Mickey James end up planning going back to the WWE as well? I don't know. Are they going to go to AEW? I really don't know. I just don't know. A lot of things can a lot of things can happen between now and then. Now and January. So, <clears throat> are they going to focus on uh, being their parents to their son Donovan? Maybe you know, and that and that could be very important too. So, anything is possible. Anything could happen here. In professional wrestling, especially uh, here in professional wrestling, especially in any of the organizations, who, who knows? So we'll see what happens. Okay, so that is it. That's all the time we have on this show. Episode 150, 150 episodes of Rage. Could you believe that? Of Eric Lee against of 1977. Meanwhile, I think dinner is on its way soon. So I got to get get the bleep on out of here. And uh, I'm gonna smack down tonight. And we got AEW Rampage, NXT Level Up. Lots to do, lots of stuff to do. It's going to be crazy, man. Let me tell you. It's going to be nuts. And by the way, since this came in today, tomorrow I'll play an X. Um, I played a little bit of this. Totally awesome. And there's some um, hidden games. So, don't know how to unlock them, but I'll find out a way. I will find out a way. <laughs> so, um, so... I'll be seeing you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. Until the next episode of Eric Lee Shenanigans of 1977, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lee Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Production, and in association with... A sweet, bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day.